Fumin Police Department is a cute idea of a game about being cops who have willingly mutated to combat the threat of other mutant animal people. The game uses a pretty simple d6 system where the characters take the highest from a dice pool, the catch being that your beast and human skills are probably going to be different. It's a bit janky and clearly written with a high concept first before actual game design being put in there, such as with the dice rolling being a bit jank and limited options of skills in the book, but it's charming in its own way. Zetai Raido is an interesting game coming from us from our boy Ryu Kamiya and is a game about enslaving demons by training them. The game is a unique with set of ideas with its 2D R system make sure you're training and fighting go relatively well. There are a lot of ideas, but falls into the same trap that Maid does as the tables and act of making the character is usually a little bit more fun than actually playing it due to its nature. If it's up your alley, it's gonna be up your alley. If it's but it's definitely not for everybody. Bencho Meow Meow is an eight page game about being a gangster cat and seizing territory by doing cat things. It's adorable to think about. It's also adorable they think that charging four dollars for it is actually worth your time. It's not. Full Metal President is a game about burning American freedom, where you take the role of the president and their staff in a barely legal rendition of Metal Wolf Chaos before it came to the states. Seriously, it's literally just Metal Wolf Chaos. It uses a dice assignment system as you struggle to overcome objectives and risks, while also building up freedom and explosions to help in the adventure. The game is incredibly simple, aggressively so, but this is a game you play while so shit fakes you can barely reason out 2 plus 2, but you sure as hell can shout it's time for the Federal Reserve to cash out as you detonate your freedom drive to evaporate the Prime Minister of Crime. Tokyo Brain Pop is Panty Explosion 2, but strips away the dice system, instead replacing it with a simplistic D6 system instead. It is, however, pretty much just Panty Explosion with the same friend-rival mechanics, but subtracting the Godai as well as to make it a little bit lighter than its predecessor. And here I thought you were going to add things with a sequel, but Tokyo Brain Plop is a cleaner system, but fails to possess the right punch to make it stand out. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was a odd little games number two. Is there anything about these games that seem interesting to you? If so, leave a comment telling me about it, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, or dislike if that's what you want.